I'd like to show you how one can achieve a round, well-centered and perfectly sized capsular axis using the optic zone marker as a guide. And before we get started, here are a few pointers. Make sure that you keep the cornea dry till the mark is made. Mark the center of the cornea by pressing down with the Sinsky's hook over the Hirschberg reflex. Place the optic zone marker centered on the central mark and press the epithelium which will leave a well delineated mark. The corneal surface moistened with BSS and not viscoelastic. Do not apply any stain to this mark as it will obscure visibility of anterior chamber details later on. So let's uh, see how it is actually done um, under the operating microscope. The Hirschberg reflex is identified. The Sinsky hook is pressed upon it to leave a small dimple. The optic zone marker 4mm in this case is centered on this mark and gently pressed on the corneal epithelium. Make sure that the corneal epithelial surface is left dry when you make this mark. Alternatively, you can use a 5mm or 5.5mm optic zone marker. And once this mark is made, you can go ahead and make the clear corneal incision. It's very important to realize that the wetting of the corneal surface should be done using balance salt solution. Because this will help you to, uh, to visualize the mark even after wetting the surface. The capsule rexus is then initiated and completed in the usual way using the mark as a template and it's quite simple and quite easy to do so. In this case you see that I'm putting in viscoelastic on the surface. It seeps into the crevices of the mark and seems to obscure the mark. It's not very visible. However, with effort, uh, the template or the edges of the mark can be made up against a red glow and capsule rexus is initiated. Remember that the cornea magnifies the structures visualized through it and therefore you have to keep the rexus margin on the outer aspect of this mark or the template. A certain amount of skill of course is required to do the capsular rexis but at least you have a template on which you can base your capsular rexis. The end of the procedure you can see that you have a well rounded, centered and uh, beautifully sized capsular rexis into which the intraocular lens can be placed. So try it, it's easier than it looks.